All right, guys, I got a really cool one for you today. This is something that I have talked about before, parthenogenesis. Um, it says crocodile can reproduce without males, and maybe dinosaurs could too. Uh, an egg laid by a female American crocodile with no access to males developed into a fully formed fetus in the first known case of virgin birth in a crocodile. A fully formed crocodile fetus has been found in an egg laid by a female that had no contact with males, showing for the first time that virgin birth is possible in these animals. The female fetus, which died at full term, is a near genetic replica of its mother, a healthy adult kept in an isolated enclosure in Costa Rica Reptile Park for 16 years. Parthenogenesis, a form of asexual reproduction in which embryos develop from unfertilized eggs, is known to occur in some snakes, lizards, and even turkeys. The discovery in a crocodile suggested it might date back to a shared ancestor of these reptiles and birds uh, at least 267 million years ago. It suggests that maybe dinosaurs and pterosaurs were able to reproduce without males too. Uh, workers at the reptile park were surprised when they discovered their individually caged 18-year-old female American crocodile guarding a clutch of 14 eggs. Half of them showed shading, which held up to the light as if they contained a fetus. Because of his expertise in, excuse me, parthenogenesis, the park scientific team contacted Warren Booth at Virginia Tech, who suggested they incubate the eggs. When of the eggs ended up hatching, the team opened them up and found that six were filled with unrecognizable contents, probably a mix of yolk and undeveloped cells, he said. Uh, one, however, contained a fully formed but lifeless female fetus. Uh, genomic sequencing of tissue from the fetus's heart and from the mother's shed skin revealed a 99.9% .9 match, confirming that the offspring had no father and resulted from asexual reproduction. So basically, um, you know, we know how babies are usually made. You know, half DNA, half, there we go, half DNA, half DNA goes together to form a new DNA. Well, with this, the female just makes copies of herself, and they are, for all intents and purpose, purposes, clones of herself. And in some species, this is um, quite common. The morning gecko as an example, is really well known for this. You get a colony of females together and you will never run out of morning geckos. They will just, as long as their conditions are right, you will have babies upon babies upon babies. Because reproduction only requires egg laying, a vast majority of morning geckos are females. Males do exist, but they're rare and usually infertile. So the males in this species serve no purpose, pretty much. Look at that. There are just one clone. And imagine if a virus, like goes through that clone um all those clones that just wipes them out in a day like that's part of the problem you need genetic differences but animals have the ability to do this not only reptiles though um one of the things they talked about in this article is how far back it goes with um you know reptiles dinosaurs being reptiles and birds which are also reptiles but one that came out recently and this isn't even the one i was thinking of so it's been documented before a zebra shark gives birth without a male um this was in the uh, australian aquarium i think in 2017 um three years after being set wait uh a female zebra shark in australian aquarium has a sand scientist by uh producing five offsprings asexually three years after being separated from her long-term male um yeah so Eagle rays and boa constrictors will do this sometimes. That's what it says. So it's sharks will do it too, because I would consider um, rays to be in that same class of animal. Um, and then apparently anacondas do it too. So um, th this is something that happens more frequently than we realize. And I think the more and more that time goes on, the more and more we realize that more and more animals can do this. Um, it's not just, you know, when pushed to the brink, some animals, or not even pushed to the brink, maybe it's literally the urge to reproduce that hits them so hard that they just manifest it. I don't know. Some species obviously do it better than others. Then there's species like, like a lot of fish, they don't do that necessarily, but like the younger ones are all male and the bigger ones, or the older ones are all female. Like at some point in their life, after the first few years, they're breeding males for a few years and then they switch to females. Like snook are 
a great example, all small snooker, or I think most of them are males. I think they, they some of them are born females, but most of them are males. And by the time they're all over like 30 inches, every single one of them is a female. Um, so I think, I mean, that's, that's different. That's not exactly this, but it's another thing that it's just how these animals have gone on. I mean, being an American crocodile, that's pretty cool. Um, but I, I guarantee you there are tons of species that do this that we just have no idea about. I don't think any f mammals do this. Not not that I'm aware of. I don't think any any mammals can do this. The closest that it would come would be to have twins and them share the same DNA. What, biological twins? I think that's what it is. But no mammals do parthenogenesis. Um, how do you guys like it? I use the Brave... Oh, um, brave search engine. So, um, I don't have any ads popping up. So look at that one step in the right direction, but I thought this was very interesting. I got sent this by, um, a viewer and somebody who's in my discord. And if you would like to be in my discord and send me links to stuff to go over or just want to talk, of course, go to my Patreon and get into the discord chat. That would be pretty cool if you did that. Um, yeah, I just thought that was a very interesting situation that, I mean, I, lo I love it when new discoveries or new discoveries come out. Like, this is something that wouldn't surprise me regardless of when it came out because, like, this is just something that's known to happen in animals like this. And I, it, it very little actually, like, surprises me when it comes to animals. I mean, at least when it comes to stuff like this. Like, reptiles do a lot more than we think they do. And can do a lot more than we think they can. And I'm sure after humans are long gone, these guys will still be around. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, if you are watching this and are not subscribed, please subscribe. I believe it's something like 90% um, of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. So it'd be really cool if you did that. And if you're here, I really do appreciate it. And I will see you on the next one. Stay wild.